Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio. So today, we're looking at a new Persian, or I suppose it's probably more correct to say we're looking at a whole bunch of cats, one of which happens to be Persian. So, Persian then. Of course, our translation does come from the lovely David Hockman over at LimitlessTCG.com slash translations. And if we start off having a little bit of a look at the basics for Persian here, it's a colorless Pokemon, which, which is not great. It means you get double colorless energy, but so do like a million other non-colorless cards. you got 100 HP, which is frankly low. There are basics, Tapu Koko, that have more HP than that. You got weakness to fighting, which with 100 HP is actually really bad because it means that a Buzzwall with Diancy Prism Star will get a one-hit KO because of your weakness. All of this is not good. The free retreat, however, really is good. Retreat is awesome when it's free. So, yeah, it's nice after a Guzma, nice after a KO. Nice, frankly, just to have something in the active that's got free retreat. Let you swap around. But it is the ability that we're kind of excited about here, to some degree. So the ability reads, all of your Pokemon's a good day for a cat attacks have no attack cost. Gives you a bunch of free attacks. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, we will have a look in a moment. There are four cats in the set that have that attack name. We'll get to them all in a moment. Now, somebody did send me an incorrect translation of this over on Facebook recently. And to be clear, the attack called a good day for a cat is free. The incorrect translation that I was sent said any Pokemon with that attack have essentially all of their attacks for free. Well, that would be ridiculous. There is a Litten coming in this set. And that would mean that you could use either of the Incineroar GX and take either of their attacks... And do it for a single memory energy. Memory energy would essentially activate the attacks on pre-evolutions. Which means that Incineroar would then have the attack a good day for a cat. And it would be able to do, you know, the fire one could do Tiger Swing. 80 damage, 50 more for each head, some two coin flips for a memory energy. Incineroar GX could do 130 and discard a special energy for a memory energy that would be silly and broken and over the top so no that is not the correct translation i have checked with david but also that would be full-on proper job broken you get the attack a good day for a cat and you get to use it for free so all of a sudden we got persian here who's got free retreat and you're giving free attacks to a whole bunch of pokemon so now the question we need to ask ourselves is all right a good day for a cat. What is this attack? Is it any good? Do we want to use it? Well, we can have a look at Meow. First of all, the artwork is adorable with a couple of substitutes on a Pokeball cushion. I love that they've even got a Pikachu tag just for extra, a little bit of extra love thrown in on the artwork there. One colorless energy, a good day for a cat. Draw two cards. This Pokemon is asleep. It's all right. Would you rather draw two cards and search any two Pokemon with Alolan Vulpix? Arguably not. If you just wanted to draw cards, we've got Lapras, we've got Verizon. All right, they're GXs, but they've also got other good attacks and much more HP and will survive a lot longer, etc., etc. So drawing two cards and sleep is, is fine, but I don't think it's necessarily terribly inspiring. Now, I did mention we've got Litten here. Now, we actually have a couple Littens coming in this set. One's got 50 HP and does burn for a single energy. The other one, for one colorless energy, a good day for a cat. Draw a card, then this Pokemon is asleep. Hang on a second, that's worse than Meowth. Meowth drew two cards and went to sleep. Litten draws one card and goes to sleep. Now, okay, maybe if you're playing an Incineroar deck... You go for this Litten. It's got 60 HP. It can be grabbed with Professor Elm's Lecture. But I'm a little confused. Because by the time you get to use this attack for free, you've got to have a Persian in play. Which means you've got to have evolved. Which means 
either you haven't been able to evolve your listen or you're choosing to use this. It, you're not really going to want on turn two to use a litter to draw one card. You're going to want to evolve it with a rare candy into Incineroar. I love me some Incineroar action. This is not inspiring. Never mind. Now we do have an Esper. And Esper has the exact same attack as Litten did. Draw a card. Go to sleep. Now, interestingly enough, it does have a fun little other attack. Now, it's very expensive for a 60 HP basic. But Psychic Double Colorless, 20 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon to one of your opponent's bench. So you get three damage counters on and you can snipe for 60, taking out something like a Zorua. That's kind of cool, but it's way too expensive for a 60 HP Pokemon. But then we've got Meowstic, who, and this might sound a little bit disingenuous, but it is factually correct, draw three cards and then go to sleep. Well, that's a little better. I mean, drawing three cards is up there with how. And we all have those turns where we have nothing. So you just draw three cards and maybe you can get something out of that. I think at this stage it's not absolutely terrible. Now, the going to sleep is a pain, but remember, a skateboard lets you retreat when you are asleep. And I believe all the Pokemon we've looked at so far have one retreat anyway. All the ones with the attack. So it doesn't really matter. The going to sleep is not a huge problem. Drawing three cards is, is fine. But then again, Lapras draws three cards. And Lapras is a basic. Now it gives up two prizes and is for a colored energy. But just just drawing three cards. And if your opponent drops something like a Judge or a Marshadow and puts your hand back into your deck, well, that's not going to be particularly useful. Then you've kind of wasted your attack. So it's better than the others, if that's a good thing. And I actually, I said there were uh, four Pokemon. I lied, there's actually five. We also have Glamiao here. One colorless energy, draw a card. This Pokemon is now asleep. Yeah, same as Litten and Esper. The interesting thing is, this was actually in Full Metal Wall. This is not a card from Double Blaze, which is how I missed it off my initial count. So, I don't know. Maybe they're looking ahead. The problem is, as much as I love this ability that gives you these attacks for free, none of them are particularly good. Drawing two cards on an evolving basic with Meowth is the best we can do here, and that is not terrible. I just think we've got better options for a setup attack on a basic Pokemon. As for the attack here, free colorless energy, 90 damage. We're back to Persian, incidentally. Good news, you can use double colorless energy. And it's a colorless Pokemon, so maybe you pop it in a Malamar deck to accelerate energy. Maybe you use a new Welder card, which lets you attach two fire energy to one of your Pokemon and draw three cards, which incidentally is better than Meowth's a good day for a cat attack. Or maybe you just attach energy normally in any deck. This will fit into any deck. The thing is, you're not hitting for weakness. If you're hitting water weakness, hey, you get a one-hit KO on Blacephalon. If you're hitting fairy weakness, hey, that's a one-hit KO on Rayquaza. But you're not. You're not hitting any weakness. So, okay, fine, you are getting a one-hit KO on something like a Macargo. But this is not terribly impressive. And what we're left with is a super interesting card that gives five other Pokemon free attacks. And it's got free retreats. But we don't really want to use Persian's attack. And even though it gives all your other Pokemon free attacks, we probably don't want to use them either because we've got better options for turn one setup attacks. And we're left with this Pokemon that looks really fun and is actually not really any good. Which is kind of sad. So I suppose let's give it between two and three Wossies. In a pre-release, I adore this incidentally. In a pre-release, the fact that you can start drawing a whole bunch of cards and having a lot more setup is great. Persian in a pre-release, free retreat, decent amount of damage for a pre-release giving you a whole bunch of drawing options. I adore it if you can get Persian out early. Outside of that, I don't think it's necessarily going to work. But I am all up for being proved wrong or being agreed with, whichever you prefer. So please do let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Go nuts! But please do remember the rule. 
Be nice, would you? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all of that head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio that's where you can do it and do please make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassy plays where we talk about games that don't have pokemon in but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time thank you very much for watching my name is ross and you've been watching ptcg radio